Hello, welcome to Bitless Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and I'm in my favorite night dress. And uh, I have a pot. I have red container and a strainer. I have some cinnamon. I don't have cinnamon stick available to me right now. I'm sure there's some around here somewhere, but I'm not going to go digging. This cinnamon will work just fine. I have some fake honey. This says honey syrup. I do have some real honey sitting in some hot water so that it'll melt up enough that I can actually use it. But predominantly, I'm going to use this. Uh, Honey flavored syrup. Still gonna work, but oh well. All right, and what is, did you say? 96? Yes. I have 96 ounces of cranberries. One, two, three of these big ass bags of cranberries. Now, <clears throat> we got these during Thanksgiving, got nothing to do with them. So I am about to make some cranberry juice. Okay, so like everything else I do, I'm not really going to do a whole lot of measuring. But what I do need to do is to take these three bags of cranberries, stick them in this pot. Take down the noise maker. I will. Uh-oh, I don't know. It's going to be pretty freaking close. That's going to fill up something fierce. Oh my goodness, look at that. That filled that whole container up. Oop, there we go. <clears throat> That's, I don't know, what kind of, how, how much does this pot hold? Yeah, okay. Anyway. Alright, so you can see it's very, very full. Next thing I'm going to do is fill this thing up with water. Okay, I've made a executive decision here. And I've not poured out half, but pretty close. I poured out some of them. I'm going to do this in two different batches. There we go. Because I want to make sure that I don't overflow anything. So... This is going to be done in two different batches. So, half of this is full of the cranberries. And then I am going to fill it with water just above the cranberries. So I'm going to make sure that uh, the cranberries are covered. And then I'm going to heat it up to a boil. And then we're going to let it simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes after that. Uh, it's probably going to take a lot longer. I've been told it could be an hour. But these cranberries here need to pop open and disperse all of their wonderful flavor. So I can't really tell you how long that's really going to take. But I am going to turn it on high until it starts to boil. And then I'll turn it down and let it simmer and cook until I'm pretty sure that as much of the flavor in these things that can be gotten out has gotten out. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got a two-quart container here with water so let's see what we got here mm, we better add a little bit more than two quarts I think that it would pop possibly cover it up but I want to add a little bit more than that there's another quart so I'm going to add three quarts of water to those and then we are going to turn this on high I'm going to turn the fan on I'm going to turn the light on and I'm going to remove that nasty noise maker and we're just going to let those things uh, boil up until they get nice and disperse all that wonderful juice into the water so here's the kitchen 
here's the hallway directly out of the kitchen look right there is the is the smoke alarm it does not matter what we cook or how nicely we do it that smoke alarm goes off every time we use this oven no matter what so we have to take the noise maker down while we're cooking anyway we're gonna let this sit it could be an hour or it could be two hours from now I don't know we'll find out and I'll get right back with all right so uh, they've only been boiling for I don't know about 10 minutes can you hear them pop I thought I heard some popping they're popping now you can see they're starting to open up and actually hear them oh, hear it hold on a second I don't know if you can hear that popping noise but they are popping so that's fantastic it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would take I said it's only been 13 minutes Mmm, smells really good. So, before we go any further, I am going to add some honey. I don't have a lot of real honey. What real honey I do have, I'm going to add in there. take some of this honey syrup which is really fake honey but it is a sweetener I'm gonna pour some of that in there right now and I'm gonna shake in some cinnamon Mix all that together. And I want that to mix in with the berries and cook. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's, whew. Oh, that smells so good. So it's been 14 minutes. When I hit the 15 minute mark, what I'm going to do is turn this down to a simmer. And let it simmer for a little while. Maybe 10, 5, 10 minutes at best. And then we will uh, continue on. Okay, so we are going to call this one done. And we're going to start straining. So first thing we're going to do is turn that off. I was thinking about using a cloth and this, but I decided that I'm not going to ruin one of the cloths to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take this off the top, set it in there, and just kind of mush as much liquid through these as I can, like this. And then I'm going to dispense that. What am I going to put it into? dispense the actual cranberry into into that there may be some uses for that cranberry later I'm not hundred percent sure but it might happen we'll just go ahead and continue this so I'm going to get the entire thing done and then when I get that done I'm going to do that second batch and there's no reason to watch the second batch because it's going to look just like the first so I will see you 
after I get that second batch done. Now, with the second batch, I am going to add some honey, but I am not going to add any more cinnamon. I can smell the cinnamon is pretty, pretty intense right now. And I think that if I need to or if I feel I want to after I taste it, I can add extra cinnamon. Uh, I, I can add extra honey or sugar or whatever I decide to use as a sweetener. But I don't, I'm definitely not going to add any more cinnamon to the next batch. But I will add a little bit of honey to it. So, without further ado, when I get all that done, I'll get right back with you guys. Alrighty, so. There's the first batch. Second batch is right here. So far, I'm going to end up with a lot. Let's see here. Let's find out. Alright, so here's the second batch of them. And it's looking like it's going to be about as much, if not a little more, than the first batch. So we're going to let those cook. But the first batch has produced 12 cups. There's 6 cups here and there's 6 cups in that. So uh, each one of these little containers, these I, I got at Walmart and they they held tea uh, and and I've measured it and they hold six when they're full they hold six cups of liquid and uh, so there's six cups in there and there's another six cups so it's looking like I might get 24 cups of cranberry juice from all those cranberries I had which was three large bags so we're gonna continue uh, I am going to bag up that and throw it in the freezer because there may be some other stuff I want to do with them later. I'm not 100% sure. If I choose not to, then I can throw it out, but I don't want to toss it out now because I'm thinking there might be some other stuff I could do. And we're going to do the exact same thing with this, although I'm not going to add any more cinnamon, but I will put some more sugar or um, honey in there. And once that gets done, I will uh, show you the completed project to this point. Alrighty, well, I have 24 cups right there and I believe this is 16 ounces. Let's see, I believe that's a cup there. Hold on. I have to look. I can't really tell. I can't see. Two cups. Okay, so there's two cups there. 26 cups total of cranberry juice. Uh, I did taste a little bit off of camera. It's still a little bit tart, but uh, I'll do that on camera for you. Maybe we'll add a little bit of honey to it to see if it changes any. So let's uh, adjust the camera and do a little taste. Alrighty, so a uh, little bit of honey here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so I got a coffee mug and it's still hot it's still hot I'm gonna I'm gonna try some of it hot uh, I'm letting it cool down before I put it in the refrigerator we'll pour in a little bit here add a little bit of honey that up a tad bit. Let that honey kind of dissolve in the liquid. Alright, so here we go. It's actually kind of good. It's very nice. Yeah, it, it tastes really good as like a, a, a tea. <clears throat> there we go. I 
I'm not sure if that was a mixture of me having to cough or whether this uh, hot liquid made me cough. Hmm. I like it. I'll be honest. 26 cups is way too much. Mmm. Very, very tasty. Uh, I seriously doubt whether I will drink 26 cups of this anytime soon. But I'm pretty sure that can get frozen. And uh, uh, maybe I'll just leave them in those containers and stick them in the freezer and then I can take them out and I'll have six cups of uh, uh, cranberry juice whenever I want it so in case I come up with some kind of weird experiment or whether I find something that I want to use it as an ingredient in some kind of food or whether I just want to drink it so anyway uh, I will keep the the small amount which is a little less than two cups at this point I'll go ahead and put that in the refrigerator. Uh, I'm going to, once that cools down, I'm going to seal off the other 24 cups and I will place them in the freezer and we'll see how long, I mean, I'm sure they'll last at least six months or a year. And uh, we'll see what we can do with them. And maybe you'll see them, maybe you won't, maybe I'll drink them, maybe they'll end up getting thrown away, who knows. But uh, didn't have anything else to do with those cranberries, they were just going to sit there and go, go to waste anyway. So I wanted to make sure that I did something with them that, that tasted good, and it actually does taste good. So thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard.